Substantial progress in the global HIV response has been achieved over the past decade. Between 2010 and 2019, the number of new HIV cases fell from 2.4 million to 2 million globally, representing a 16% reduction. However, recent estimates indicate that the number of new HIV infections dropped by a mere 3.6% between 2020 and 2021. This represents the smallest annual decline since 2016. Urgent and collaborative action is needed to reprioritize the HIV epidemic on the global health agenda. Estimates indicate that low- and middle-income countries will need annual investments of $29 billion to meet the 2025 AIDS targets of ending AIDS by 2030. But current projections show that these targets are pushing increasingly out of reach. The COVID-19 pandemic, along with other global crises, have resulted in rapidly growing debt and a narrowing of the fiscal space. This threatens investments in health and specifically the HIV and AIDS response. Failure to meet the 2025 AIDS targets will result in not only long-term human costs, but also severe negative consequences for health systems and economies. Economist Impact has assessed the magnitude of these costs across 13 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. The findings demonstrate that fully financing the AIDS response could substantially curb the growth in new infections, save human lives, improve educational and social outcomes, and subsequently create opportunities for economic growth.